Ludwig von Beethoven, along with Franz Joseph Haydn and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, was one of the greatest classical composers. The classical period of music occurred between the years 1750 and 1825. The hallmarks of this period of music were balance and order. The music was carefully defined and arranged and broke away from the highly complex and ornamented music of the Baroque period, when the composers Johann Sebastian Bach and George Friedrich Handel reigned. Beethoven revolutionized the form and spirit of music during the classical period, becoming the first composer to earn a living from the sale of his compositions. He was an independent and spirited man, and at a time when composers were regarded as servants of the aristocracy, Beethoven considered himself one of their members. Although highly irregular for the time, the aristocracy respected Beethoven and treated him as an equal. As a result of his prestige, Beethoven was fortunate to be able to write only those compositions he wanted to write rather than the compositions an archbishop or king ordered him to create. Beethoven became the forerunner of the music of the Romantic period when new, rich, and colorful musical forms began to emerge. Ludwig von Beethoven was born in Bonn, a city on the Rhine River in Germany, on December 16, 1770. His father and grandfather were both professional musicians, and Ludwig's father, Johann von Beethoven, was eager for his son to become like Mozart, another musical genius whose expertise was evident at a very young age. When he was only four years old, Ludwig's father began instructing him. Every day, Ludwig studied violin, piano, and composition. Then when he was nine years old, a musician friend of his father's, Tobias Pfeiffer, became his teacher. Oftentimes, after spending all night in an alehouse, Ludwig's father and heir Pfeiffer would return home and arouse Ludwig from his sleep to give him music lessons, no matter what time of night it was. When Ludwig was about 12 years old, he began to study the 48 preludes and fugues of Johann Sebastian Bach, a famous German Baroque composer and organist. Ludwig found great inspiration in Bach's preludes and fugues. In 1782, a year after his first published composition, Beethoven obtained a paid position as a second court organist. At the age of 17, Beethoven visited Vienna, a city famous for musical activity, and where eight years later he would eventually give his first public performance. While on this first visit to Vienna, Beethoven had the opportunity to play for Mozart, who was very impressed by Beethoven's ability to improvise or to make up music on the spur of the moment. Of Beethoven's performances, Mozart supposedly said, someday he will give the world something worth listening to. Shortly after visiting Vienna, Beethoven's mother died, and in order to care for his younger brothers and sister, Beethoven began to give piano lessons. One of the families he met through his instruction were the von Bruins, a wealthy and intellectual family. Frau von Bruen, the mother of one of Beethoven's piano students, introduced Beethoven to the works of Shakespeare and the German poet Goethe. Beethoven was immensely grateful to the von Bruens for introducing him to this new world of literature and learning. One day, the famous composer Joseph Haydn came to Bonn, and Beethoven had the opportunity to play for him. The Archbishop of Bonn, 
who hired Beethoven as an organist in 1784, arranged for Beethoven to study under Haydn in Vienna. After he completed his studies with Haydn, Beethoven decided to settle in Vienna and to diligently pursue composing and performing. His first public concert given in Vienna in 1795, when he was 25 years old, earned him enormous praise. Beethoven became the first great composer to work without the aid of a wealthy benefactor. His independence made it difficult for him to serve one family. He felt he performed and expressed himself best when serving the public. Beethoven's greatest productivity occurred between the years 1795 and 1815. He composed eight of his nine symphonies, 27 of his 32 sonatas for piano and violin, 11 of his 16 quartets, his only opera, Fidelio, and several masses. Sadly, at the time of his last public concert for the Vienna Congress in 1815, Beethoven was nearly deaf, and by 1820 he could no longer conduct his orchestra. Musical expression was vital to Beethoven's existence, and he courageously continued to compose music whose sounds he could only hear in his own mind. Some of his greatest compositions were produced when he was completely deaf. Beethoven died on March 26, 1827, from complications of pneumonia. His immortal nine symphonies are often considered his greatest works. His ninth symphony contains the great choral section, Ode to Joy. And together with the Fifth Symphony, these works remain his most popular. The Third Symphony, Erotica, is said to have been Beethoven's favorite. Thank you. 